welcome back and thanks for joining me for the next instalment of the Fashion Mongler Spring Edit. If you are new to my channel then you may not be aware but this week I'm doing a new video every single day to celebrate the upcoming launch of spring. It's my favourite season and I'm doing a spring themed video every single day this week. So if that sounds like the kind of thing that you would enjoy then please hit the subscribe button down here. I'm doing beauty videos, fashion videos, trend videos, unboxing videos and lots more so hopefully you guys will stick around for that. Today's video is going to be a new spring spring handbag unboxing and the bag in question, you'll already know from the title, is the YSL or Saint Laurent blogger bag. So I received this um, a couple of weeks ago, I got it from farfetch.com which is one of my favourite retailers for buying designer online. I love the selection that they've got and despite the fact that the products are pulled from various retailers across the world, I never have any problems with shippings, the returns are really great, and it's just a really good place for finding the bits that you've had your eye on. So I've had my eye on the Saint Laurent bag for quite a long time. Um, the blogger bag is, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is the most affordable of all the Saint Laurent bags. And I just think they're so adorable and I could not resist picking one up when I saw that the baby pink shade had come back into stock. So I've not actually opened this yet, so I thought I would share the moment with you guys. Inside, um, it's beautifully wrapped up. It did come in a far-fetched box, but this packaging says Idrissi. On it so I'm guessing that that is the name of the boutique that sent this to me so let's open it up and see what's inside <laughs> it's like boss the parcel so we have the iconic black Saint Laurent Paris dust bag inside this will be my third Saint Laurent dust bag I also have the sac du jour I believe it's called and also the monogram clutch bag so this is going to be my third Saint Laurent bag and I feel like I've got a really good collection now I've got a large I've got a really nice evening bag and then this of course is going to be the tiny one rather concerning this kind of looks like a security tag I don't think it is I think it's just a really sturdy um, label so very well protected it's in this kind of bubble wrap and then dun 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 here she is such a beautiful color it's kind of a powder pink let's take off the rest of this ah good it just clips off so here she is in all her unboxed glory as you can see absolutely tiny I have a very small head um, but compared to my head it's very small you've got this very thin strap it's not chain it's just um, double back-to-back -back leather incredibly thin but I guess it doesn't really need to be too supportive because you're not going to be able to fit much in here you've got a gold a yellow gold zip and then the zip has a very small chain and then this little tassel detail which is not removable uh, it just um, is the zip on the back you've got this pocket which is empty but really good for oyster cards potentially of course you've got the polished yellow gold YSL logo on the front and then inside we have got the little swatch of leather this is the exact same leather that the bag is made out of and I know a few people are often like what do I do with it it's I think it's for cleaning purposes so if heaven forbid you were to get a stain on your beautiful handbag you could test your cleaning method on this little square before risking the bag so that's what this is for also inside is this little envelope which I believe will just be my authenticity details and it's also come with some stuffing inside which I'm going to remove so now that the paper's out I can see that inside here we have got two little slips which are almost uh, reminiscent of what you'd find inside a purse so I guess the main aim of this bag obviously is not to be like your everyday handbag it's more an extended purse that you can wear which I think is really handy if you don't like carrying all your bits and bobs around with you you just want to have your essentials and this way you can keep your coins and your cards in a really safe place and always on your body so I guess that's definitely what I'm going to use it for rather than an actual handbag personally I love having a small statement handbag there's nothing better than like walking around with your hands free and not having to lug around massive bags with you so hopefully 
this will encourage me to be a little bit more uh, minimalist. The leather is a spongy leather, it's not pebbled, it's not that Saffiano leather, so this will get scratched and it will stain if you're not careful. With light coloured bags it's always so important to be super careful if you're wearing dark jeans or new denim because you may get a... Um, like a friction mark on the back here. I learned the hard way with my first Mulberry Lily bag that denim will transfer onto light coloured leather. So be super careful if you're thinking about getting this colour. <laughs> so I want to talk about the name of this bag because it's called the YSL Blogger Bag which I think caused a lot of uh, curiosity, let's say, when it was first announced. I was definitely like, oh my gosh, have YSL really named a bag after bloggers? Because of course bags are normally named after like celebrities or fashion icons um, or street names or just random fancy words that help with SEO and whatnot but this is called the blogger bag which is just so interesting as a blogger myself um, I was just immediately like huh why has he done that is it to poke fun at bloggers or is it a kind of homage to bloggers, I really don't know, but um, there's definitely a few theories out there. My favourite theory, and the one that I think I agree with the most, is the fact that bloggers, um, bloggers obviously give designer bags quite a lot of exposure across Instagram and our platforms, and the two bags that are most featured by bloggers are in fact the YSL Monogram bag and the Valentino Rockstud, ironically, <laughs> both of which I have, and I don't have millions of handbags, as you know, I probably have seven designer handbags in total, um, but I do have those two, which are the most Instagrammed handbags, and they're both very small, and they both have something quite iconic on them, like the logo or the studs, so maybe Eddie Sliman, who was the designer of the blogger bag, maybe he was trying to capitalise on that and felt that bloggers would be really drawn in by its size, it fits in an Instagram square, um, and the fact that it is quite obvious with this logo. Like, I'm not really a logo person, she says, holding a logo covered bag. It's very clear that it is a designer bag, but it is the most affordable of the YSL handbags. So I think that that would make it very attractive to a lot of bloggers, a lot of people who um, have aspirations to be bloggers on their Instagram, because by wearing something like this, which is £645, you can really instantly add that designer impact to your outfit. You could be wearing a full outfit of Topshop, Zara, River Island, and then as long as you've chosen wisely and you add this bag as your finishing touch, it really elevates an outfit. So I think for a lot of people that are really starting, starting to invest in a designer bag wardrobe, this is a great place to start because it's affordable <laughs> as far as designer bags go. Of course, it's not affordable. And on that note, I think this has gone up by about £200 since it first came out, only last year. Um, designer bags tend to do that based on their um, availability and demand, and this has certainly been very much in demand. So I guess that's my theory as to why it's called the blogger bag, but if you guys have heard any other theories or have your own ideas, definitely let me know in the comments below because I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. I guess it could just be the fact that Eddie recognised the growth of bloggers and wanted to almost make a tribute to that to show the relevancy. I really don't know, but I think it's great that a bag is called the blogger bag. There's also the camera bag, which is a very similar size. I get, I think it's actually a little bit bigger, um, but on that note, I'm now going to see what fits inside. First of all, that I cannot resist any longer is seeing if my phone fits inside because I have an iPhone 7 Plus, so let's give it a go. So here's my phone, here's the bag. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure this is gonna fit. Hold on, would help if I actually opened it. Dun dun dun. I've got a case on as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gonna distort the bag. I'm really having to force this in. This would not be like an easy whop it in, whop it out type situation. Do you know what? It does just about fit, but I'm not sure I can close the zip. I'm not going to try it because I don't want to break the zip. So that's actually a little bit of a problem, that if you have got an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 7 Plus, the giant brick of a phone, it will not fit inside. If you are willing to risk it, I guess <laughs> you could put it in the back there, um, but probably not the best idea. This sounds really bad, but I've just had another thought as to why it could be called the blogger bag. 
because we have our phones in our hands 99% of the time. I mean, how often, this is so bad, but how often do you actually put your phone in the bag for a long period of time? I know that I normally actually walk around holding my phone. That's gotta stop, like that's really bad, but maybe that's another reason why it's called the blogger bag. Because who needs to put their phone in their bag when it's always in their hand? <laughs> another blogger essential is of course a vlogging camera. This is my G7X that I vlog on with the flip down screen. I also vlog on my Olympus pen, but that definitely wouldn't fit in here. Luckily, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So the Canon G7X fits in there with quite a lot of room and still plenty of room for makeup, for my cards. Um, a passport would fit in here, not that you carry that around with you every single day. Spare memory cards, a battery charger, that would also fit in here. Um, so yeah, I think as a camera bag, and perhaps uh, a few essentials like a slim card wallet and makeup that would definitely fit in here. It's just really the phone that doesn't fit. So yeah, overall I think this is a really fabulous bag if you're looking to make a first step into the designer market or perhaps you're looking to treat yourself to a new smaller bag because you want to just really elevate your everyday outfits. I think this is an absolutely lovely decision um, and choice for that kind of reason. The bag itself is really beautiful, it's a very classic design and that's what I'm all about when it comes to buying new designer bags. I would never go for one that's instantly going to go out of style a few months later. I'm all about the bags that I can reach for in years to come and I mean this is super plain. It's a, it's a squashed square with a tassel with a logo on and that's really not going to go out of style so I don't feel too heartbroken to part with £645 for this. It is, having said that, a lot of money for a very small amount of leather, um, but hopefully because of its size it will just go with so many outfits, so I'll get a lot of use out of it. I'm all about that price per wear, so hopefully I'll be able to let you guys know in a few weeks or months time whether I feel this has been used as part of numerous of my outfits. So that is my unboxing, first impressions, and what fits inside of the blogger bag from Saint Laurent. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this type of video. I know that uh, luxury videos aren't everyone's cup of tea, but that's fine. I do a lot of affordable uh, fashion videos as well. But on the flip side, if you would like to know more about the luxury things in my wardrobe, um, which are very timeless pieces, Perhaps you'd like to see a shoe collection, my granddaughter would like four <laughs> designer shoes, or maybe a handbag collection, let me know what you'd like to see in the comments down below. I will leave a link to this bag in the description as well in case you want to see more details on this exact bag and where I got it from, and if I can find this colour in stock anywhere else, then I'll also leave that link down below. Colour wise it comes in tons of colours, it's got like a gorgeous emerald green, there's a black, white, red, comes in tons of colours, so yeah, very versatile bag. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you very soon for the next part of my spring edit. Bye!